welcome to episode 47 of Warrior News. I'm Josie Schuler. And I'm Mazzy Hatch. This week we'll be talking about preparing for the ACT exam, Central's AP Human Geography class, and Dr. Hall's FFA class. Here at Central, we just took the ACT Aspire test, but did you know that ACT has another exam people take in order to get into college? It's very important to your future to do well on the ACT exam. Here's Anna Kate to help you learn how to prepare for this exam. As the end of the year approaches, many of us are worried about our summer vacations. But as the final weeks appear, we need to start preparing ourselves for the ACT. Um, probably practice tests. There's a lot of practice tests online. Um, you can probably order some practice tests through Amazon. Um, just really take advantage of that. But also the district sometimes offers like study sessions on a weekend or an evening. Um, Mike Fontanopoulos um, in our district is a really good contact. You can email him and he can give you some direction on to prepare for the ACT. Students often don't get enough sleep during ACT week. What benefits them from doing their best? During ACT week, I try and get a lot of sleep. Um, and right before the test, I try and eat a nutritional breakfast. And the week leading up to the test, I try and go over all the materials in class that we learned. Studying with a partner can help you reach your goals for the ACT. Preparing for the ACT is very important. And hopefully for these following weeks, we can all prepare for this. For Warrior News, I'm Anna Kate. Thanks, Anna Kay. I took the ACT last year, and it's very important to be prepared. Me too, and I agree. Another great opportunity for students at Central is our AP Human Geography class. Students have the opportunity as ninth graders to earn college credit for this geography class. Here is Jesse to tell us more. Central Junior High offers a tremendous amount of classes. One of those classes is AP Human Geography. It is taught by Mr. Pittman. It counts as a history credit, and if you pass the test at the end of the year, you get college credit. In AP Human Geography, there will be a very important test at the end of the year. This test will determine whether you get college credit or not. Mr. Pittman wants everyone to get college credit, and he tries very, very hard for everyone to succeed. Also, uh, he cares about every single one of his students. Like, uh, he, know, he knew what grade I got on the mock and stuff. Like, who knows that? Like, Mr. Pittman does, because uh, he cares about his class and his students. This class is taught by Mr. Pittman. Mr. Pittman is an amazing teacher, and he has been teaching at Central Junior High for over 30 years. He works very, very hard because he wants all the students to succeed in his class and receive college credit. So why should ninth graders take AP Human Geography? It's your first opportunity to take a college advanced placement class for college credit. It's an elective. So you, a ninth grader, it's really win-win, okay? So you get your first AP experience. You learn lots of new vocab to help you in your future AP classes. Overall, AP Human is a great opportunity for everyone, and it is worth all the hard work. For Warrior News, I'm Jesse Salcedo. Thank you, Jesse. Geography is a very important class and is a great opportunity. Next up is Dr. Hall's FFA class. Here's Skyland to tell you more. Agriculture is a good class to take because you can be an FFA and it teaches you about the environment. FFA teaches you about livestock in many different ways. For example, you can participate in many different types of animal shows or you could even learn how to judge the animals. In agriculture, you work on bucket gardens and just building gardens in general. You also learn about different animals and um, yeah, it's really fun. Agriculture also teaches you a lot about the environment, including how to grow and take care of different plants. Eighth grade ag teaches students about agricultural literacy. In other words, when you take this class, you learn about where your food comes from and how it gets to your table. And you learn about the importance of farmers in this country. What a lot of people don't realize is that although we depend on farmers, we don't think about farmers depending on us. For Warrior News, I'm Skylin Walker. Thank you, Skylin. FFA is a really cool class and it looks like it's so much fun. That's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed watching. For Central's Warrior News, I'm Josie Schuler. And I'm Mazzy Hatch. Join us next time on Warrior News. <laughs>